conversation Why did we end up here? Wandering the slope of your intention Feeling the anger Feeling the fear Claiming the air Asserting your power Do you desire to make me feel small? I'm not a meal that you can devour I need your help Do you hear my call? You're still so young, but you've, you're, you're a name that's been in, in, in the Portland scene for a while, and I think uh, many of us first saw you with Euro Thomas and the Pain. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, right out here, a couple yeah. years ago in the Galaxy Barn, mm -hmm. I remember a show. Um, so w w the, the EP that came out a couple years ago, how does that differ from, from what you've gone on to since? Because I know you've got a new record uh, either working on it right now or... or it's finished, it's actually, finished yeah. Um, well, so I was in a band... I, from Portland and I was in a band when starting when I was 15 years old okay. here and it was like a folk very folky band um, so we did but I, I grew up like singing gospel music in a church and uh, then I was met you know it's in Portland everybody sing, plays folk music um, so I started doing this folk band and then um, we split up and I had all these songs that I wanted to record so I recorded this EP that was 
just kind of the leftover of what that era was for me. I put that out a couple of years ago. And then now I feel like I'm coming back to uh, my roots and myself and what that looks like. So this next record is way more soulful. Um, it's like way more R&B, but still with the stripped back elements of folk. You said you, you uh, grew up singing in the church. Is that where you started anyway? Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. I started taking voice lessons from a gospel pastor when I was 11 years old at a church in town, and he changed my life. It's amazing. Do you still think that's, that's a big part of what you do? I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a common story, I think, in other parts of the country more than Portland. Yeah, you know? but, um, totally. But how, how does that, do you think, still belong mm -hmm. with what you do? Um, I think it influences everything I do. I think the main thing that I learned from the pastor was he would tell me all the time, like, I don't care what you sound like. What are you, what are you thinking about? Are you feeling what you're singing? I don't care how good you sound. You could be the best singer in the world. If you're not feeling it, then I don't care. So that, that I think, sticks with me a whole lot. And um, it kind of takes you out of your ego when you <clears throat> are sitting with a song and you're like, okay, my, maybe my voice is feeling rough today or I got a lot of dirt in my throat or whatever. <laughs> but that's not what it's about right now. It's about this connection that we all have together and uh, you know, the vulnerability that music, that, that you feel when you play music, that's what it's about. So um, yeah, so that, that definitely sticks with me. Maria Massa on the move.